Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to increase the maximum speed for Xiaomi M365 Pro and also how to increase the motor power for this scooter. To do this uh, we have to do several steps. The first step is to check on the Mi Home application what is the official firmware version that you have on your scooter. So let's connect to the scooter. Okay, I always have this problem with this application. I have to reconnect each time the scooter. So let me reconnect to my scooter. Okay, and in order to check for the official firmware version, it's go to basic info. Okay, in my case, I have the latest version. It's V1.6.1. Okay, I just upgraded um, a few, few weeks ago. So this is the latest version of the firmware for this, this scooter. Okay, so you have to remember this number. Yes, you will need this number later, so keep it in mind. Okay. Uh, also, if you don't have, and if you don't use Mi Home application, you can use the M365 Tools application, yes, and the information regarding the firmware version it's in this tab in basic okay and here under asc firmware version you see it's version 161 okay okay so what are the steps that we need to do if we want to create a custom firmware for our scooter to increase the speed and to increase the power we open a website this website is called 365pro.scooterhacking.org okay and with the help of this website we can create our custom firmware first first step is to choose what is the firmware uh, existing on your scooter here you have you see that we have only three version 1.5.2 155 and 160 so basically, I cannot update it because I have 161 on my scooter. But after reading several uh, blogs on uh, on website, I discovered that uh, if I choose 160, even if I have 161, uh, the, the the patch and the, the custom firmware will, will work. So in this application, I have to admit that I don't... I'm not familiar with all the, uh, the lines that can be modified here. I'm just going to, to choose the maximum speed uh, in sport mode. In order to modify uh, the maximum speed, you have to check this little box here and to type the speed that you want to reach. Keep in mind that if you want to reach, let's say, 30 kilometers per hour, like in my case, okay, uh, you have to add plus 2, so 32. If you have, if you set here 32, in reality you will reach 30 kilometers per hour. This is how it works, don't ask me why. Okay, in drive mode, mm, I want to keep it like this, but if you want to modify it in drive mode, tick this box, modify the speed, and put the desired speed plus 2. Okay, I want to keep it like it is. What else? In echo mode, I'll keep it like it is motor start speed okay this one i want to modify uh right now i have to to push two times in order to start the scooter i just want to push once so instead of five kilometers per hour i'm going to set this to four okay i want to start the scooter motor at four kilometers per hour so i just push just once uh brake lever parameters i don't know what it is i don't change it motor power constant Okay, this is the power. So here you have this number, 51K. Uh, if you want to increase the power of your scooter, you have to lower this number. The lowest number you can put here without destroying your scooter is 32K. But this is very risky in my opinion. With 32K, uh, it's too much power. Uh, the, the motor and the battery uh, will, uh, will be very, very hot. So... I want to increase just slightly my power, so I will set this to 45k. Okay, let's see how it goes. 
cruise control delay. So after how many seconds uh, the cruise control to start? Uh, the original factory set uh, is set to 5 km per hour. If you want to modify it, tick this box and put the desired um, number of seconds. Mm, for me, 5 seconds is optimum. I'll keep it like that. There are some other uh, lines here. I don't know what they refer to, so I'm not going to change them. So let me check again. So I choose 1.6.0. Okay. I modify the maximum speed in sport mode, it's 32, it's perfect, because I want to reach 30. Uh, motor start speed, it's 4, it's exactly what I want. Motor power constant, it's slightly lower than the original, so I keep it to 45k, okay. Cruise control, I don't modify it. Okay, so I'm happy with the settings. Right now, the second step is to press this button patch. It's asking you, do you want to patch uh, your scooter? Keep in mind that if you do this, you are going to wait, void your warranty. So think very, very well before doing this patch. In my case, I want to do it. I know that I'm going to lose my warranty, so fine. Okay, so uh, I have the file downloaded in my downloads. Okay. So after we generated this file, the next step will be to go to Play Store and find this application called M365 Down G. Okay, so install this application. In my case, it's already installed and open it. Okay, so the application looks like this. Uh, what you need to do is to connect it to the scooter. Uh, my scooter is offline. Let me start it again. Okay, now it should be my, my scooter. Okay. Connect. The second step is to press check version to check the version of the software. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, so now you should see uh, version 1.6.1, the total number of kilometers, so now should be fine. The next step is to open the binary file that you generated with the uh, website. In my case, it's in downloads. Okay, uh, and it's the latest one. And the second step is to hit the flash bin button. And now you see you have a counter here, 0%, 5%. Let me have a look at the scooter screen. Okay, so the scooter screen looks normal, like in standby, displaying the, the speed, which is zero, of course, the battery and the drive mode. In my case right now, it's set to S, so it's normal uh, screen, it, it didn't change. Okay, it seems that it goes very fast. Hopefully it will work. 75, 80. Wow, this was quick. Okay, uh, right now I, I will restart the scooter just in case. Okay, I restarted the scooter. So right now I'm curious to see what version of what version uh, firmware version I have on my scooter. So let me connect to my scooter. Connect again. Aha. Uh -huh. So I don't have the official uh, version because the application asked me to upgrade it. I don't want to upgrade it. I just want to go to the basic info. Okay, so it seems that I have version 1.6.0, exactly the version that I generated with the website. Okay, uh, it looks okay. Let me go for a 10 minute ride and I'll come back to tell you the findings. 
Okay guys, so uh, I'm back. Uh, I did a 15 minutes ride. Uh, I'm quite impressed by the result. Indeed, the maximum speed now increased to around 28 and 29 kilometers per hour. I think that the fact that I don't have full battery limits the maximum speed. Uh, but I'm I'm curious uh, after I will uh, charge it fully charge it to see if I reach 30 kilometers per hour. Um, and I believe that that uh, it's going to to happen. Also, regarding the power. Uh, it seems that uh, it goes, uh, it, it accelerates much faster right now. I'm impressed by this. I hope that I will not burn my engine and my motherboard. Uh, but uh, right now the, the power uh, looks very nice and uh, you really feel it, the power increase. Uh, this was my uh, video on how to update your speed and your power on the Xiaomi M365 Pro. Oh, one one last uh, comment. If you want to go back to the original or uh, to the official firmware, you can do this using uh, Mi application, Mi Home app, okay? Uh, let me show you how to do it. If for any reason you want to go back to the original software and firmware, all you need to do is to open the Mi Home app on your phone, connect to your electric scooter. Okay, I have a problem with this application. I have to reconnect to the scooter each time. It's reconnecting. Okay. And now you see that uh, the application detected the fact that uh, on my scooter I don't have the latest official firmware and uh, it's asking for an upgrade. If you want to upgrade to the original firmware, all you need to do is just press OK button and the scooter will update to the official firmware version. This is how the screen of the application looks like when the official firmware is updated. And this is how the scooter screen looks like when the software goes back to original. The update to the official firmware is done. All I need to do right now is to restart my scooter and everything it's like in the factory settings. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel and also share it with your friends.